Yo! The New Deal Con Fest and everything and all that, all the good stuff has been announced. Look at this. So we have uh, this TUR, Goten, and Trunks with the Krillin unit super attack, as you can see over here. And then we also have a new standalone Krillin with the, you know, nice haired up Krillin. I really, I like this art because I, I, like, I like the Krillin in the back, but I don't know. Something about Goten and Trunks' face here, they look like grown. They look older. But then like their like rest of their body looks the same. I don't know. Mainly mainly like Goten, I don't know. I am I'm, I'm probably just tripping. Well let's uh we're gonna watch their animations and we'll take a look at their kit. Oh, I I love the coloring on them. Oh damn! Those are some smooth hits. Oh, I like that. I like that. Well, that's a forceful explosion. It's so smooth. What the hell? Da huh? <laughs> Why did that look so good? Unit super attack. Let's see it. Let's see it. Oh, here it is. Yo! What? That completely blew away my expectations. I want to rewatch parts of that. So you have this part that, that just... The animation is so smooth here with their hits. That looks great. And then... You have the active skill. What is this? Why is that so smooth? Why is the movement so good? Look at this. Like his leg moving, his hair moving different directions, his clothes moving, his belt moving. Like, bro. I don't care what anyone says. This is hype, okay? Dude, and then Krillin flying in. Ooh. These shots just look so good. Yeah, okay. They look very good. That was actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Let's take a look at the translations though. So we got Krillin, Forefront of Courage. Saviors category key plus three in HP attack and defense 120%. Okay, so he's a sub leader for saviors. Actually, 120% not a sub leader. So let's go saviors Dokkan wiki. Oh, okay. So yeah, okay. Tech ultimate going is the only leader. So we've got another leader for it now. What does he give? HP 130% attack and defense plus 170%. Okay. Well, another leader is good, even if obviously he's worse and all that, you know. So we've got raises defense for one turn, that's good. 120% attack and defense, super fast LS key plus 2, attack and defense 30%, that's good. Key 2 and 30% support on all super class allies? No like category or anything, that's good. You know, it's no like 40% or 50% buff, but that's 2 key 30%. Super class. Get an additional attack once 120% and reduce damage received by 30%. And grant an additional key plus 2 and attacking defense plus 30%. If there is an ally whose name includes Goten, Kid, or Trunks, get attacking in the same turn. Reduce damage received by an additional 10% and all super class allies. Critical hit chance plus 10%. There's a movie boss's category enemy. Okay. So I see this split up in three ways. So you have this. Which is just what you will always have. So 120% attack and defense is good. Uh, good support ability is good. And then if you're just running them with Goten Kid or Trunks Kid. As in this. Or any other one. Then you get all of this. So 30% damage reduction. And 120% attack. So another 120% attack is good. 
But damage reduction won't be the most... Well, I, I would say it wouldn't, won't be the most impactful because he's not getting any defense here, but he does raise defense on super attack. And then if you're fighting a movie boss's category enemy, which isn't the most common thing of all time, you get an extra 10% damage reduction and critical hit chance for allies. I like that because... You know, uh, fighting a certain enemy is a pretty annoying restriction, but it's just like a little extra stuff on top. It's not like required for them. Got Lynx, Turtle School, Experienced Fighters, Courage, High Compatibility, Solid Support, Kamehameha, Fierce Battle. I have never heard of this Link before in my life. Um, huh? High Compatibility. Wow. What? What? This is the most dead Link of all time. Also, what is this Goku? I've never seen this Goku ever. What? Okay, but that's getting off topic. Uh, this Link is completely dead. Because if you look at like the li literally the four units, I guess five now, who have this, that can actually be used. No, not even, because this is the TUR. Okay, you have LR Krillin, SCR Krillin, Baba Shop Krillin, and this Krillin. What's one thing they all, they all have in common? The exact same name. So you can't link them up with each other. This link is 100% dead. It's a pretty good link too, like... What? Why does this exist? Like you're not running... You're not running this guy... To, get, to activate that link. What? This is this is the most pointless thing of all time. Why does a why does any unit have this? <sighs> I don't know. Let's go categories, saviors, movie heroes, earthlings, come out of battle of wits, turtle school. That's pretty good. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six category teams is not bad. Could be uh, you know, there are a lot of characters with worse. But let's move on to uh Super Saiyan Trunks Kid and Super Saiyan Goten Kid Tiny Super Warriors. This is good because it doesn't replace the LR Goten and Trunks, because those are in base form. Prodigal Warriors category, or Kamehameha category. Oh, wait a minute. HP and attack 170% and defense 130%. Aha, that kind of blows. If it was 150 all, the, all around, that would have been good. But, what is this Gohan? HP 130%, attack and defense plus 170%. So this is swapping the HP and defense. Well, I think that's better. More HP will get you farther than extra defense. Or am I stupid? It might be the other way around. I remember I heard it somewhere. I can't remember it with my brain right now. We've got super attack. Raises attack for one turn, causes immense damage, that's nothing special. Unit super attack, greatly raises attack for one turn, now that's powerful. As we've seen from Krillin and 18's greatly raise attack, they go from 700k to 1 mil. So a greatly raise attack is good. And then raises allies attack by 30% for one turn, oh. Well, hey, if you have th if you have these two together, and you put Trunks and Goten slot one, they raise attack by thirty percent for everyone. While he gives the support type buff to them too. Well, they're, let's see their passive attack and defense is one fifty percent. Okay. When launching a super attack, okay, so you got to get a super attack. That's basically no restriction at all. Great chance, oh, it's one of these. Okay, great chance of 50% attack and defense. Great chance of another 50% attack and defense. Then we got key plus one, 10% attack and defense. And chance to evade plus 7% whenever an attack is evaded. Max of key plus three. Wait, what? Wait, this is weird to me. So, whenever you dodge an attack, you get key plus one, 
and 10% attack and defense and 7% chance to dodge but they have no dodging anywhere in their passive that's kind of weird uh, how big is a great chance again okay so I couldn't find out exactly how much great chance is but I mean attack and defense plus 250% if you proc both of these this just this part just seems so weird to me like why do they build up all of this when attack is evaded if they don't have any evasion anywhere I don't know that's kind of weird those are one of the first units you want to put a full dodge on like I don't I don't know I'm just confused by that what does our active skill do though able to use once three turns or more have you oh I see I see okay okay this is making a lot more sense now able to be used once three turns or more of the last from the start of battle and there's character attacking in the same turn whose name includes strong skitter goten kid wait what oh wait there is a character attacking in the same turn wait does that include themselves what's the point of that no, if they're if it's attacking this, say so you need another trunk skater Goten kid. I would have thought that would be like, bro. This, this <laughs> Goten and Trunks are just knocking me around, dude. I don't, I'm not understanding this, but I'm guessing this is another trunk skater Goten kid because otherwise, why would it even be there if it was just themselves? You know, that's kind of a weird restriction, honestly. But I mean, you can just run them with the LR, which makes sense. Oh, and then it gives key plus six and dodge enemy attacks. There, that makes more sense. Key plus six is pretty good. I mean, they're, they've just got, like, they're just going to guaranteed super, which I guess helps with this. Even though I don't... Actually, yeah, they don't actually get key anywhere from their passive besides dodging, which doesn't really count. Okay, and dodge enemy attacks. Is that just guaranteed dodging for that turn? And that's three turns in? I mean, three turns in can be a lot, but guaranteed dodging, and they build up attack and defense and dodge chance whenever they dodge attacks. That seems pretty good to me. The only thing is that this is just completely dead until you use the active. There are links here, uh, so I'm not sure if any of these give key. Because if they don't, then they actually have zero key from anywhere in their passive or anything until they get the active skill, which of course gives them six key and then gives them this. So key could be a bit of an issue, but I don't, I don't know. I I can't really, I can't really say because I don't know what these links do. Categories, Prodigal Warriors, Hybrid Saints, Joint Forces, Movie Heroes, Youth, Super Saints, Kamehameha, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, 7, is, again, is not bad. That's pretty good. For a Joint Forces unit. But yeah, I think that's gonna, that's gonna be it. I'm still fairly new to the whole breaking down units in Legends and Dokkan. So, uh, forgive me if I made any mistakes in here but that's uh just gonna be it we're gonna wrap it up here the other animation look very good their kit look very good i'll see you in the next one